Hello, welcome back to economics and uh, this is a continuation of uh, the first topic which was the uh, price elasticity of demand and also the um, total revenue, right? So this one is income elasticity because income is one of the shifters or one of the determinants of demand. When the income changes, um, it can also change the quantity uh, demanded for a particular product. Okay, so um, income elasticity of demand is the degree of responsiveness of a percentage change in quantity demanded with a percentage change in income. So when you're, the, this is the degree of change in the quantity. Uh, mathematically, this is how uh, we are going to get the income elasticity. So this is the percentage change or income elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in income, where QD is the quantity demand, quantity demanded and Y is the income. Okay. Um, so the percentage change in QD is the change in quantity, which is Q2 minus Q1 over average in quantity demanded. And the percentage change in Y is Y2, the, in, the income 2 minus income 1 divided by, divided by the average income. And this is the simple uh, representation of this. QD2 minus QD1 over average QD, which is your percentage change in quantity demanded, over income 2 minus income 1 over average income, which is the change in the uh, in income so in, in rep to represent the, the the answer to the equation if the answer is less than or greater than one the product is called luxury product so marisha car um sa pa, cell phone high-end laptops no so money luxury product if it is greater than one if it's less than one we call it necessity meaning that is something that you cannot live without it's a necessary product that's one of your needs if it is greater than zero meaning if it's positive it is a normal good if it is less than zero or negative that's inferior good if it is equal to zero that's unitary okay so um, let's put this into um, use this into application in this situation Serene earns a monthly salary of 5,000 pesos and she consumes 1,000 worth of chicken per month. So, na siya'y sweldo nga 5,000, ang iyang gikonsume nga manok every month is 1,000 pesos. When her income increased by 2,500, so ni-increase daw yung income by 2,500, so nahimo na siyang 7,500 per month, she started to consume 2,000 worth of chicken meat in a month. So, katong na 7,500 na yung income, 2,000 pesos na diha sa 75 ang iyang ginagasto for the chicken meat. Is Serene's demand for chicken meat normal, necessity, or luxury? Right? So, we have to determine kung normal ba siya, necessity ba siya, or luxury. So, in order for us to know, we have to use the formula that we have covered in the previous slides. So, Given, we have the given here, the income 1 is 5,000, the income 2 is 7,500, and of course, na ay mga tana. Nga na 7,500 man siya, ma'am? That's because from 5,000, ni increase daw by 2,500. So, na 7,500 na siya. So, quantity 1 is 1,000 pesos, quantity 2 is 2,000 pesos. How do we know? Uh, if it's uh, luxury, necessity, or normal, we have to get the percentage change in demand, then get the percentage change in income, and then solve the elasticity. Right? So, first step, get the percentage change in demand. So, that is Q2 minus Q1 over the average of quantity demanded. So, that's 2,000 minus 1,000 over 2,000 plus 1,000 over uh, divided by 2 which is equivalent to 1,000 over 1,500, and the answer is 0 0.67. So, ngayon, uh, 1,500 man, ma'am, that's because we are getting the average of quantity demanded. 
to get the average, we have to add the two quantities divided by two. Okay? If there are three quantities, we are going to divide that by three. Right? But we are only talking about two quantities. Now, second step, we get the percentage change in income. Percentage change in income is the income 2 minus income 1 over the average income. So that's income 2, 7, 5 minus 5,000 divided by or over 7, 5 plus 5,000 divided by 2. So that's 2,500 over 6,250 and that is equals to 0. 40. Right, so how we are going to know if it's a uh, necessity? So we have to solve for the elasticity of the income. Now, how do we do that? We have the in elasticity, income elasticity of demand is the change in quantity demanded over the change in uh, percentage change in income. That is 0 0.67 over 0 0.40, which is equivalent to 1.68. Okay, we have to note that 1.68 is greater than 1. Hence, the demand for chicken is normal and it is considered a luxury. Okay, so if we're going to go back uh, to our table for the summary, we have if it's greater than 1, it's a luxury good and it is also normal good because it is not negative. Okay. So, it's luxury and a normal good. Luxury na sa iyahak is sobra-sobra uh, na ang iyang uh, chicken. So, meaning, once na nag-improve ang iyang, uh, ni-increase ang iyang income, ni-increase po ang iyang consumption. Okay? Now, uh, there's a challenge. You have to try this situation in order for you to um, try if it is an inferior or a basic need for Aling Laura. Um, you have to use the same formula that we discussed in the previous slides and you put your answers in the comment. And thank you. Have a good day.